Hey everybody, it's your girl Sincerely Drew and I'm back today with another video. So, as I can tell down below and kind of like from where I am right now, we have a different sort of vlog coming for y'all today. If you haven't already seen some of my other vlogs and other videos before, this summer I'll actually be serving as a dog camp counselor. So I'll be with a group of incoming freshmen today. And we actually started dog camp yesterday. But you know, just get to know everybody, kind of got in the mix of everything. But today's our full first day. We're actually about to go do, to, we're actually going to do some service and meet some people as well today so i'm gonna take y'all along for as much as i can i don't want to bring the camera out too much in front of all of them but i will show y'all as much as i can so if you are interested in doing dog camp another year or if you want to sign up for dog camp discovery this year you can definitely do that let me know down below if you need any information about it but i'm really excited i actually have to go meet them real quick to go do breakfast so i'm about to leave y'all but i'll get in as much clips and videos of this week as i can and update y'all along the way so let's go get to breakfast okay y'all so we just finished our first service site for today y'all kind of see everything in the back we went through the forest over here on campus over by lake herrick to take away some invasive species just to clear the area out get it better for getting water through ditches and stuff like that but it was pretty cool the campers seemed like they loved it i'll probably have some pictures in here as well just of them taking down trees it was it was pretty cool it was a cool experience so hold up um now we are actually about to head back on the vans and get to lunch <laughs> so i'm gonna show y'all what we have over there but it's been pretty cool so far so i'll check back in with y'all whenever we get to the next thing I want you into it, right? Like, I want you to embarrass the people for blocks out. <laughs> All right. Who's that coming down the track? Who's that coming down the track? It's a mean machine in red and black. It's a mean machine in red and black. Ain't nothing finer in the land. Ain't nothing finer in the land. Than a loud, obnoxious Georgia fan. Than a loud, obnoxious Georgia fan. Go dogs! Go dogs! Go dogs! Sick them! Woo 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 woo! Good job. Thank you all. So now, y'all, we are actually at the VFW. It is a veterans place over here in Athens. And we are working with the food bank right now to do a mobile food pantry. So, actually, most of the line has gone down. We had like three full lines of cars here. And we're just getting people to come up and getting them some food. So, I'm finna get back to work because baby, I'm hot. But we're finna get back to work and I'll probably take y'all along with like some of the other stuff that we do today, but we're almost there. Day one is almost over, y'all. Yes, sir. Smile. So y'all, today y'all kind of see we're in like a little warehouse. This is actually books for keeps. So what we've been doing today is going through all of these boxes and bins. All of these are books that people donate. We've just been separating them. And what they do is they give them to elementary school students. So it's been really cool learning from them, seeing books. I'm actually bringing a book home. I'll show y'all that later. It's been really fun and exciting. A lot of our campers today are taking books home. All of these are like new books that they have new nancy drew like it's something it's something for real for real so we're actually about to go take a picture so i'll be right back soon Full 
Yeah. Oh, it's like the curious case or something like that. It's the strange case. That is a profound <laughs> statement. <laughs> Sure. Which Caesar? Julius. <laughs> that, that's, that's something I know. Arrested? Yes. Mm. I love getting arrested. We have 
Yummy, yummy. Me through it. <laughs> um, can I get some chicken salad? Okay. And is there anything over here that I have to do? Um, can I get some onions? Yeah. And I think that's about it. Thank you. Yeah. Then we have sharks. Y'all, literally all the rooms are so cute here. Beach clothes due to sharks. Then we have Baywatch. This is definitely a vibe. For sure. Um, the the stuff for like all the dirt. We'll bring it. What is pirates? Look at pirates, y'all. It's so cute. <laughs> and under the sea, y'all. This has to be my favorite. This has to be my favorite. That little SpongeBob Krusty Krab. I love it. Hey y'all, so as you can see, I'm back in the room because dog camp is finally over. I Like I honestly can't even believe it. Like just coming from the first day and just being so nervous about it and like not sure what it's gonna be like to now or to being to the point where like I felt like I could tell my campers literally anything and my campers like pushing me to like just grow and all that. It's crazy and like now they're gone. They're all back home. So it's it's really crazy. I've definitely bonded with my campers a lot this week and I really can't wait to see them 
in the fall so i'm really excited like now i'm like okay summer let's let's hurry up summer so i could see some like my new favorite people on campus but i really liked it i showed y'all a lot of clips throughout the um week so i just wanted to come back there and just give a little bit of context towards what we were doing all week and then sort of just wrap it up so the first day i didn't vlog the first day of course y'all already knew that because the first day was like you know it was just like a lot of anxiousness and a lot of nerves with me personally so i was just like uh let me just let me just relax on the first day and just learn more about them and all that sort of stuff but the first day the campers came in in the afternoon and we just had dinner and did some introductions and things like that just sort of framed the need of service in athens and just like what the state of athens is as far as like poverty level and things like that so that was pretty cool to do with them then the first full day that we had we went to one service site which was Oconee Forest Park which I already saw we worked on getting rid of invasive species that they had there so that was pretty cool like getting able to see all the campers like cut down trees and all come together to make sure that trees don't hit each other it was really cool it was really fun running away from bugs I really enjoyed the experience with them for sure. Then we went out to Tzatziki's to go meet our namesake, Amanda Torrance, because she works in the engagement and leadership, engagement leadership and service department here on campus, which we call the ELS. And she is one of basically like the directors of service here on campus. So she can connect you to any service activity, any community service that you want to do, any community service project that you want to do as well. She's definitely the person to go to. So you all saw her earlier helping them or leading them and calling the dogs, which was, I think it was many of their first times calling the dogs. So that was pretty cool to see them experience one of the big traditions that we have here on UGA or that we have here on campus. And then after that, we went to our second service site, which was at the VFW, which is a veterans place here in Athens, Georgia. And um, we basically work with their mobile food pantry or their mobile food bank. So when we got there, there was a whole lot of cars lined up. And basically all we did was, all we did was we got all the cars through, we put all sorts of food in their cars and their trunks it was a really cool experience i got to talk to a lot of people hear the different experiences that people have in different states and all of that so that was pretty cool to do with them um and then after that we came back to the room we uh sort of like cooled down for the day washed up then we went out to dinner dinner that night was at ted's most best which is like an italian sort of place pizza sort of place downtown in athens and after that we just did some walking around y'all saw us going to different places in athens we took them to some other um kind of like alumni owned places just to show them that really the community that we have here in downtown athens is literally built by uga alumni and we're here to also just feed back into the community that we have here and we also took them by target because like there's a new target in downtown and baby you gotta know about that new target so we took them there as well then we came back to the room we just did some debriefing and things like that um just to talk about the day and just get into some other activities then the next day our first service site was books for keeps which y'all i loved i personally loved i have a book here that i actually got to bring so books for keeps i kind of talked about it before but basically what they do is they get in a lot of donations from a lot of people whether it be monetary or just like used books or anything like that they get people to go through and sort through all the books which is what we were helping with and just separating them into different categories and then they end up taking them on to elementary schools here in athens Clark county and one of the biggest things seeing from the campers was that a lot of our campers were also able to take a book home with them as well. So if they saw a book that they liked, they were able to take it home. And you guys also saw us playing trivia earlier. Jim was playing trivia with us and that was actually one of the books that he picked up. So it was really cool. And he also picked up another book that was donated and it was actually the book from one of the very first black UGA students to get to integrate uga so that was really cool i have the book as well so i was telling him like hey once you read it let me know because i have it at home we can read it together all that sort of stuff but i when i went there i actually was able to get a book as well and y'all almost teared up when i saw this book but basically it's a big one okay so i was able to get a sports illustrated basketball greatest book and i was really excited seeing this because i didn't see that first it was like under a whole lot of other things and I saw it and I was like, okay, I gotta see if Kobe's in here. Cause like Kobe's like one of my favorite basketball players. And y'all like, I almost teared up when I was in that place because 
the book is older so of course the book was made when he was still playing so it said um the year that he started playing until present and i was just like oh my gosh it's crazy because like to think kobe's not here anymore sort of thing so i had to pick that book up for sure but other than that like we found a whole lot of cool books there as well so it was really fun doing that and then we got lunch you already saw we were playing trivia we had jimmy john's then we took them on a tour of like tate center and the middle learning center and memorial hall just show them some places that they can get involved in and some cool places to just take breaks here on campus and then we went to our second service site for the day which was brooklyn cemetery that's a place that has a lot of um a lot of unmarked grave sites or yeah i think that's the correct word for it but some of them were also marked as well so one thing that we were helping with doing was just sort of like beautifying the place so if there was any branches or trees or anything in the way of the path we're just cutting those down putting those to the side and also just raking leaves and we also planted some tulips as well so that was pretty cool i don't think i got any videos there but i might have some pictures i'm not sure stay tuned <laughs> um and then after that we went back to the room, we took a break for the day. And then I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that night, we, yeah, that night we also went to Sauce House, which is a sort of barbecue place in Athens. That was really good as well. I'm a big mac and cheese connoisseur and I would definitely say, get their mac and cheese for sure. If you don't get nothing else, get their mac and cheese. Um, that was pretty cool. They also had like a big connect for outside. So our campers were getting involved in some of that as well. Then after that, we went to the Iron Horse, which is a big tradition here on campus. It was a statue that used to be on campus that was then moved off campus. So it was pretty cool going there with them, playing some games, playing kumcha, just, just experiencing. It was really fun. And some of our staff was also able to come out to that event as well. Then after that, we came back to the residence hall, did some more debriefing, activities for the day, all that sort of stuff. And then the next day, we went to ESP, which is Extra Special People. And y'all, that was that was probably one of my favorite ones because like literally we were just there to basically like have a really big party and just cheer on all the campers that they had. ESP is a place that works with um, people or children, but I think they have all ages as well in there as well. I think they do have all ages, but they specialize most in five-year-olds up to high school. And it's with children who have mental or physical disabilities. And it was just really fun seeing them, all their chants. It was, it was a fun time. So that was pretty cool. And then after that, that whole day was basically about involvement, just getting them plugged in wherever they can on campus. And for lunch that day, we went to Cafe Lumpkin. That was pretty cool. It was like a nice breakfast spot for sure. That was nice. And then for dinner that day, we went to Cali and Tito's, which was definitely a vibe for sure. I definitely suggest going there as well. So that was basically our time there. The last day was we just stayed in the residence hall, did some debriefing from the whole week, gathered together, just really talked about like what are our goals, what are the next steps from here on out. So it was honestly a really fun experience to be with the campers this entire week. Like I said, I don't think that going into this, I felt like I would grow from this as a counselor, but they definitely pushed me and they pushed me in ways that I've been wanting to grow for years and just haven't been pushed in that sort of way. So I'm definitely very grateful for my campers and I'll always remember this experience for like ever. So I would definitely suggest for you all, like if you are an incoming freshman to try to go to dog camp, if you, ooh, to try to go to dog camp if you don't end up being able to go to dog camp because i know sometimes there's like a financial issue or something like that they do have scholarships as well so i would definitely say reach out to them for the for that financial help as well or even if you didn't go i would also say try to sign up to be a counselor i didn't go to dog camp when i was a freshman and honestly that was one thing that i, re that I regretted which is why i wanted to be a counselor and i don't regret the thought or the idea of wanting to be a counselor because I wouldn't have changed anything for the world. Um, so I would definitely say go to dog camp. It's really fun. It's not like your regular orientation. It's not like a corny sort of camp. It's really big into who you are and what you want to do. And we're here to like get you on the right platform or the right path 
to go into college with as well. So I'm really excited for what this year brings with my campers because dog camp is not something that just ends when you're done. This is a commitment that you all make with us. Of course, from here on out, it's whatever you all want it to look like, but I'm sure my campers are gonna wanna stay connected for sure. So yeah, that was basically it. If y'all have any other questions about dog camp, let me know down below. If I don't know how to answer, you can also go and follow dog camp on Instagram at dog camp if it's not dog camp it's at uga dog camp and they can answer any questions that you have there as well i'll probably also be recording and vlogging at dog camp discovery which is our biggest dog camp and that's mainly about traditions so stay tuned for that make sure you subscribe to the notification bell so you know when that video comes out because that's gonna be a vibe it's gonna be it's gonna be a big party it's gonna be fun for sure and then also make sure you follow me on Instagram at I'm Sincerely Drew because of course I'm able to post and talk with y'all way more often on there because I'm on my phone more often than I am on, or I'm on Instagram more often than I am on YouTube. And remember that I love you all so, 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 so much. And my name is Sincerely Drew and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.